Brakata Yahawa, Brakata Yahawa Sha, Brakata Yahawa, Brakata Yahawa Sha, Brakata Yahawa, Brakata Yahawa Sha, Baha Shum, Revelation chapter 7, verse 2. And I saw another angel ascending from the east, having the seal of the living power. And he cried with a loud voice to the four angels, to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea, saying, Hurt not the earth, neither the sea, nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of our power in their foreheads. And I heard the number of them which were sealed, and there were sealed an hundred and forty and four thousand of all the tribes of the sons of Israel. All praises to our power, Yahweh Bahashim Yahushai Bahashim Rakakudash. Double honor to our elder apostles and elder bishops, a great millstone. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. Shalom. Shalom to the elect. Salvation of the 144. This was meant to boost our faith. This was meant to boost our faith. Okay. Now, you Akim have seen this headline already. You've seen it. All right. And it really stuck out to you. Because this is a faith booster. Low will, we continue. Low will, as long as we continue. Our salvation is nearer than we believe. Because the Lord speaks through information. He speaks through certain signs. Okay. He speaks through everything because he controls everything. All right. But this is a faith booster. We're at the point in time where the elect are being sealed. Okay. And then it's going to come that destruction. You know, but you're being sealed at this point in time. The elect are being gathered. Okay. Beginning with the 144,000. And then... You know, the rest of the one third, you, ha you have men, women and children, you know, uh, helps, friends of the prophets, women and children. And then you have the innumerable multitude. But it begins with the 144, the 144,000. All right. Now, this is on NBCnews.com. And like I said, this is nothing new to you, brothers. OK, but I'm going to read it anyway. Now it says under politics and news UFO report, government can't explain 143 of 144 mysterious flying objects. And really, they can't explain it at all. All right. They can't explain it at all because th this is outside of Esau's way of thinking, outside of Edom's way of thinking, you know. Which, e, you know, E, because <laughs> they'll hit you for saying his name. But, um, you know, this is beyond their understanding. This is beyond carnal knowledge and carnal power. All right. So UFO report, which we can identify what this is. Government can't explain 143 of 144 mysterious flying objects blames limited data. And there's not enough research you could do. There's not enough data you can gather. There's not enough UFO or UAP experts to figure this out because it's spiritual. Okay. You know, you read in Hebrews, the 11th chapter, it speaks about the faith of our forefather, Abraham, you know, and, and the faith of a lot of other great men, the faith of Moses. And when it speaks on Moses, it says how Moses was able to see him who is invisible. So that's dealing with faith. So the heavenly father, Yahweh, and his only begotten son, Yahweh Shah, are revealing themselves to the earth. You know, by way of this truth, beginning with this truth, you're able to see him who is invisible. You know, but but also by way of these spacecrafts, all right, the, the chariots, that's the Heavenly Father revealing himself to the earth. Because, see, he's in another dimension, him and his son, but the angels are an extension of his power. And the Lord is going to send his angels to gather the elect. Okay. Now, let me get that. 
There's no need for this to be that long because brothers already know about it. Okay. Before I get that, I'm going to get this in Revelation 14. And I looked and lo, a lamb stood on the Mount Zion and with him in hundred forty and four thousand, having his father's name written in their foreheads. Right. Linking up with Revelation chapter seven. Okay. And we know Yahweh Shai, he's that lamb, the sacrificial lamb. All right, the Passover lamb. Okay, and he's going to pass over the elect. And at this point in time, the elect are covered. They're covered with the blood of the lamb. You know, instead of it being on your physical house, it, it's upon your, your vessel. You know, and it's upon the, uh, the, the doorpost of your mind, you know, your spirit. Okay, he stood on the Mount Zion, which is dealing with our homeland. Okay, but also Mount Zion is synonymous with the Israelites, the people. It's a people before it's a place. Okay, Yahweh Shai is coming back to establish the new world. He's going to set up a new government. It says, and with him in 140 and 4,000. And that's it right there. Having his father's name, Yahweh, written in their foreheads. And when you read this in the Greek, it also says the name of the son. OK. So at this point in time, the elect beginning with the 144 have that covering. That the wah. OK. You read that in Ezekiel chapter nine, verse four. Matthew chapter 24, verse 30. And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven, which is that humongous fathership. And then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn because it's an invasion. And they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. And he shall send his angels with the great sound of a trumpet. And they shall gather together his elect from the four winds, from one end of heaven to the other. That's it. OK. One forty four. Being gathered. All right. And also you have the innumerable multitude. OK. You know, you have the rest of the one third. You have the one third here in America. You know, certain men, uh, women, you got friends of the prophets helps. OK. You know, you got children, certain children. OK, being gathered. All right. But beginning with the 144,000, you know, so low willingness is edifying. A lot of times it's different when you redo a vid, but it's all good, you know, because really the info speaks for itself. OK, but I want to show it anyway. All right. And Edom is worried because there's a lot of headlines. Dealing with this. There's a lot of articles, should I say. Same headline, but a lot of articles put up. So, yeah, they're very concerned and there's nothing they can do. There's nothing that they can do. And I'm going to close out with a scripture. In the book of Job. Chapter 11. All right. Job chapter 11, verse 10. If he cut off and shut up or gather together, then who can hinder him? So if the heavenly father, Yahweh, sends his only begotten son, Yahweh Shah back to gather together the elect, who can stop him? No one. You can't stop the salvation of the 144,000 along with the rest of the elect. And you can't stop Yahweh Shah from taking you down setting up his kingdom okay him cutting off your rulership shutting you up you know because the edomites and the rest of the other nations they're going to be put in captivity you know shut up in slavery all right and the lord has come back to gather together his people man so that's really the point lord willingness is edifying
Double honor to our elder apostles and elder bishops of Great Millstone. Peace and blessed to the elect. Shalom.